Clay. Hey Cornelia, and yeah, we had a really a nice day today. We had some fog this morning and some of the higher elevations. You can see that pretty clearly here with this photo in Delano taken by Priscilla McKnight. A little bit of fog, a few clouds around. Then we had some sunshine, then the high clouds built in. And as we take a look at what's going on now, well, it's just mild outside with some clouds. 74 here in Chattanooga, 72 in Nashville. Really a nice evening to be out and about. Comfortable across the entire Tennessee Valley. Upper 60s in the Blue Ridge and Murphy, 72 in a date in 69 in Altamont with a nice breeze out of the south southeast at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So here's a look at your sky watcher reports hit 77 to de today in Saudi Daisy. The winter so far, Ronnie and East Brainerd at 81 degrees, 75 was the high here in North Chattanooga and 76 down in Trenton across the rest of southeast Tennessee, ranging from the low to mid 70s. Delano at 77, Unica at 77, and Rossville at 74 degrees, and down in Somerville, 76. So a very mild day across the board, but very typical for late April standards. And here's a look at our low pressure system that's going to give us a chance of rain tonight. So right now, some heavy storms kind of pivoting on the back side of this system into portions of Mississippi. Eventually, this tracks just to our south, bringing us chances of rain. Not necessarily going to be a washout, and it looks like the heaviest rain potential going to be across North Georgia. But again, the high clouds continuing to stream in. You can see that low pressure spinning there, that counterclockwise spin just off to the north of Jackson. Eventually, again, that's going to move in our direction. There will be the potential for severe storms today into tonight across portions of South Georgia, South Alabama, into the Carolinas. But for us here locally, it looks to just be a few rumbles of thunder. So again, as we take a look at your future cast, a couple of light showers possible this evening. Not a big deal. Main batch of rain looks to move in after about 2 a.m. Notice the heavier showers across north portions of Georgia. Could be a few rumbles of thunder here, and I think the further north you go, north of Chattanooga especially, less chance of a rain. It's just going to be more spotty activity. And then as we go into the 9, 10 o'clock hour, a lot of this starts to wrap up pretty quickly and we'll have some sunshine. And then the winds pick up as much cooler air starts to filter into the Tennessee Valley. And there could be a few lingering showers late Sunday, especially in the northern tier of our area. So as we take a look at what's going to happen tonight, again, it looks like the highest potential for rain going to be there from about the Tennessee state line southbound into North Alabama and north portions of Georgia and the future cast rainfall going to be very dependent on how far that low pressure tracks to the north. A little further to the north, those higher rainfall amounts start to push into portions of Dalton Blue Ridge, but I think across North Georgia, anywhere from a quarter to to a half of an inch, and we're also going to have a few rain bands try to develop north of Chattanooga as well. That could put down some pretty heavy rain. So again, a little bit of a tricky forecast, but we're certainly going to have some scattered showers after midnight until about 8 a.m. tomorrow, and then the rain tapers off quickly. Overnight lows in the mid 50s, and then tomorrow after the rain moves out, we'll have some sunshine. It will turn breezy. West winds at 15 to 20, gusting upwards of 30 miles per hour. Highs in the upper 60s, so a very comfortable day, about 10 degrees below normal. And for your next seven days. Again, we're going to keep those cool breezy conditions in the forecast through Sunday or through Tuesday, excuse me, and then going into your Wednesday and Thursday, we start that warming trend and there'll be the potential for